Hello! Shui here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. About three years ago, I built a floor table. This time, it's a little larger than that. I'm building a floor table. これ、作ってあるやろな。これごっつい節やもんな。ごっつい節やんや。まあこれで天板も足も何もかもこのバンで作ろうかなと思ってんだけど。1cm で10年ぐらいと。1cm で10年やね。10cm で100年ですよね。これがや
If you don't do this, diagonal joints, such as dovetail joints, will be loose when you plane the wide area when finishing. This is also done to remove the tear. I plane the surface until that condition is resolved. As a reference, I use this floor table that I built previously. The previous video got a lot of views, but now that I look at the table again, it's not that good. The leg slope is 11.3 degrees, the same as the last table, but the horizontal stretcher is positioned differently. I will place it at the top instead of the bottom. The stretcher will not be too small, and it will be secured to the wide part of the legs. I think legs are always the most difficult part for everyone. I use a tabletop as it is in order to emphasize its original character, but I work on the legs and the stretcher. The large stretcher will be attached to the top, joining the legs with a dovetail joint. Since a live edge is used, the shape is uneven. I first measure the approximate lengths and mark the centers. Then I draw a line connecting those marks. Then the right angle lines from there. That will be the level line. The top and bottom cutting lines can be drawn by measuring the lengths from that line. It is challenging to draw the level line, but it is even more challenging to cut along it. It is impossible to use a right angle ruler, so I measure the same width from both sides and use a straight ruler. I hold it firmly and cut it carefully and slowly with a sharp blade. Now, I cut a dovetail joint on the stretcher. As a DIYer, I use a handsaw. A hand saw is faster than the miter saw since I will need to set the timber on the miter saw and measure the diagonal. I realized that the Kiso Cypress is soft to cut with a hand saw. The gross rings are double than usual, but the wood is soft. It is straightforward and easy to cut wood. I think it may not contain oil like other cypresses do. If it were a fish, it would be a yellowtail caught in summer, or a Spanish mackerel that is not fatty. Well, I don't think anyone understands me. I first draw a mark on the end, then cut the dovetail joint along the line with a fine handsaw. So the tail is diagonal, it's the same work as usual tenon. It's a simple DIY dovetail joint. I cut the socket on both legs. The surface of the socket can crack when it joins snugly because it meets in the center. It may take me several attempts to cut it into the right size the first time. I may have to adjust it several times. I carefully cut the socket so that the joint won't be loose. I temporarily dovetail together. My first try didn't work, so I had to adjust the size two or three times. If the joint is too tight, it can crack, but if I cut too much, it will be loose. Once it gets loose, it can't be fixed anymore. I carefully join it several times, adjusting it until the last one centimeter is in place.
I finished the timber with a sander. I used both square and round sander pads. I prefer the round one for the live edge. Square pads sand too much on the uneven edge. Wood become whitish. Round pad can adapt to the shape of the wood. Edges are sanded evenly without over sanding, and the finish is flawless. I join the legs and the stretcher. I apply a bit of wood glue to the socket. It prevents the joint from loosening and cracking in the future. で、乗ると。で、乗ると。よし、こんな感じ。ちょっとここに穴ちゃんがあるけどな。またこれはこれで世界で1個の穴。めっちゃ綺麗やん。重いさけな、これな。重いから10センチぐらい出すってか。ま
It's hard to make it flat, so I fill it with plenty of plastic resin glue. I think I can finish it by planing it. This tabletop is just glued to the stretcher and legs. I saw it was straight, but it didn't fit perfectly. To fine adjust it, I lightly plane all around so that it attaches well. I turn the tabletop and legs over to secure them. Marking the position is tricky. As a reference, I attach tape along the corners of the legs instead of using a pencil, then secure it. I used quick drying glue. Wood glue would work, but it takes a day to dry. Quick drying glue dries in about 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm using it. Since I'm using glue that is quick drying, I must work quickly. As pressure is applied like this, the glue begins to melt, becoming like a milky lotion. It was in the right place, but it started to shift when I applied pressure from above. My initial plan was to screw from the bottom of the stretcher to the tabletop and hide the holes with tarusens. Admittedly, there is a little chance of seeing this stretcher from underneath but I thought it'd be more beautiful with the screws or tarusens, so I chose to use glue. However, this plan makes it difficult to build. Since the glue has dried, I remove the tension rod. Glue squeeze out can't be avoided, but the dried glue will look like a sponge like you were saying. You can easily remove it with a cutter. I applied glue to the knot to prevent cracks. I'm removing it now. It turned out to be a resilient resin, rather than stiff as I expected. It is successful at filling the small cracks in the knots. However, the chipped part didn't finish as well as I expected. I hand plane the tabletop again to finish it. The knots are nicely finished. いい感じ。いい感じやと思う。泣けりゃそれまでやけど。泣けりゃ俺までやけど。このシュードが筋は良いわいや。このこんだけだからな。うん、黒くなったな、ちょっと。it has been finished once, but I was not satisfied with this part, so I start over again. After I remove inside, I realized it wasn't hardened yet. That makes sense since the sawdust glue mix is in a virtual resin container. To fill it, I'll make a triangle from the same wood to match the color. It's my first time cutting a triangle piece to fill a chip. Fortunately, there's an extra corner edge, so it won't sand out. 
I tried again in this way. I was lucky to have a large piece of top board left over. I use the same sap wood. From the top edge, the shape is a triangle. A triangular piece will be inserted diagonally from the edge. Using only my trained eye, I cut all the pieces to the approximate slope. Cutting it to the right size from the beginning is not a good idea. If you cut too small, you will have to start over. Cutting at a larger angle is safer. It's quite tricky. Usually, I use Tarisense, but this is my first time using the shape to fill a chip or hole. Cutting the triangle piece is not difficult, but fitting it into the chip is. I tried to find the best way, and I realized how useful sandpaper can be. In addition to my hand plane and chisel, it's one of my most important tools. <笑>で、ここ、ここクランプで、あ、挟むとこっち来るやんけ。こうしてに。これ何分やったんやな。5分もったらいけるやろ。まあまあ、15分ぐらいやろ。15分。あおか。<笑><笑><笑><笑><
but that's kind of boring. So I'd like to try and do it myself. While applying the urethane, I realized I have forgotten to brand the table. I can't do this after the urethane is applied. This is the part I'm most nervous about. I'm relieved that it went well. Using urethane this time was the most challenging part of the project. Regardless of my level of painting, I think that's one of the good things about DIY. I have finished building the Kiso Cypress floor table. Even though it was a DIY job, it was challenging. I lost track of the difference between DIY and a day job. The most challenging part was the urethane finishing. This time, the knots were cracked, so I chose urethane to finish. Since I wasn't satisfied, I applied it three times on the legs and four to five times on the tabletop. Despite my best efforts, I couldn't finish it perfectly, so I gave up. However, I don't think it's too bad. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.